31, I had a question coming out of section 2.2, number 29. And in this problem, we were asked to find the equation of a line using the point-slope formula, but ultimately ending in slope-intercept form. And really what they, they told us is they wanted our line, to the, the line that we're finding, to be perpendicular to this line and pass through the point negative 2, 1. So those are my conditions here. Right, so be perpendicular, that's this symbol here, to this line, but pass through negative 2, 1. So we have to remember that lines that are perpendicular, they have slopes that are negative reciprocals of one another. So let me just do some work over here. If I have 3y equaling x minus 4, what I want to do is find the slope of this line. All right, let me write slope. Because if I can find the slope... Right, then I can take its opposite reciprocal or negative reciprocal, and that will be the slope of the line I want. So if I want to find the slope of this line, I'm going to put it into slope-intercept form, which means I'm going to divide both sides by 3. Right, the 3s will cancel out here, and I'm going to get y equaling x minus 4 over 3. And you might think that's a rational function, but it's not because there is no variable in the denominator. All we have is a constant, so I'm just going to distribute that 3 oops, excuse me, to the numerator, whoa, what is happening? To the numerator and denominator. Let me get my pens back up, not sure what happened just there. All right, let me try a different color. I'm gonna distribute that division by three to the numerator and denominator. So what I mean by that is I'm ultimately gonna have y equaling x over three minus four over three, right? Or if I wanna rewrite that, I'm gonna have y equaling one third x minus four thirds. So you can see right here, we've got the slope happening. Let me get a different color. Here's my slope of one third. So if the slope of this line is one third, then the slope of any line perpendicular to it would be its negative reciprocal. And the reciprocal of one third, if I swap out the three and the one, the three goes to the, the numerator and the one goes to the denominator, well then that's gonna be negative three over one, or really just negative three. So that's why you see me writing that here that the slope of any line perpendicular to the given line is negative three. So now we're getting down to here's my slope, and again, here's my point. So I'm gonna put this into point-slope form. And point-slope form is y minus y sub one equaling m times x minus x sub one. Well, let's, let's start to plug these in, all right? So I know that negative three is gonna go in here for my slope, right? I also know that negative two is gonna go in here for x sub one. And I know that 1 is going to go in here for y1. So I'm going to substitute those three values into this formula. And that's where you see me getting to this line here. So y minus y sub 1 equals m times x minus x sub 1. Now I have a subtraction of a negative number, which is why I simplify that to a positive. Then I'm going to distribute the negative 3. Right? And then I'm going to add 1 to both sides. So ultimately, there is my line. And that's in slope-intercept form, which is what was asked of me. And it's the line y equals negative 3x minus 5. All right, thanks so much, everyone. Bye.